Hi there. Um, so, sort of in the half finished house. Gosh, night is drawing in. We're a late one tonight. Um, there is a rumour that I might have a fire fitted um, this week. So that's a terribly exciting thing for us to, uh, to discover together. Um, not quite sure how to work a fire, build a fire, create a fire. I don't know. Um, but yeah, that's going to be very good. So last night, sorry, yesterday, the, um, the poem that I uploaded was about new love and young love and the, um, the anticipation and the excitement and the loveliness of it. And it got me to thinking that sometimes it's not quite such, um, you know, it's not always hearts and roses and flowers and rainbows and sunbeams. Um, it's sometimes a bit horrible and toxic. <laughs> um, you know, and that can be romantic relationships, it might be friendships um, that aren't maybe quite as friendly as you would have hoped they were. Um, we've all had friends like that. Or, you know, sadly, sometimes it's, um, it's with families that aren't really getting along. And um, it's those times where you know in your tummy, this is this has run its course, um, this has gone on longer than it should have, um, this is not good anymore and I need to ship up and ship out, um, you know, um, and that's sometimes really quite difficult to do and to, to come to that realisation, sometimes it's quick and other times you're just really nervous and it's, it's not that easy sometimes. And so I remembered... Um, a poem I thought I'd wrote about these sorts of situations and I found it and I'm so excited because in the poem it also has two of the loves of my life and so my husband and my son obviously they're a given um, I ought to I ought to write a poem about my husband um, the wonder that is um, maybe when the finished when the half finished house is actually finished and I am loving him um, I'll write a poem then as a poem, you know, like, you know, it's just really noisy. I don't know where I'd start, you know, like, the noise, like, he's continually humming, or, or whistling, or, you know, <laughs> you know, when they just breathe, <laughs> and you I remember in the first lockdown, and we were working side by side in the office, back bedroom, and I was like, oh my gosh, your breathing is driving me crazy. Like, and it's so loud and, <laughs> and continual. And the slurping, and the, it's not even the slurping. You know, when they drink, it's the gulping. It's the cup of tea or the glass of juice. And I'm like, oh, are you drinking so loud? Everything about you is just smash your face in. You know those times. Um, I won't do a poem. <laughs> I won't do a poem about him um, when I'm in that frame of mind. It's roughly day ten. I'll wait till the half finished house is done and it'll be marvellous. I mean, I imagine I'm a joy to live with. Not a problem at all. I imagine it's um, it's a laugh a minute. It's not. Anyway, this poem and the two loves of my life will get to those after this. So it's entitled. I'll end up on my knees. I know what you're thinking, but it's not. And for all the connotations, and I want to go back in time and rewrite history, but it is what it is, and it was what it was. And it's a line in the poem which will make more sense. It's not what you think. Anyway. I've changed so much these past few weeks. No bolt of thunder, at first it did creep. To be on my own, to breathe and to think. But once you've started thinking, you soon reach the brink. I questioned my thoughts, the values I hold, the friendships I'd trusted and a past that was cold. Relations with loved ones and the times I've been burned, the emotions I've been through, no stone left unturned. A slow realisation that's changed who I am, a change for me only. I now feel that I can. A change for the better, I feel it inside. I want to be me, not a person that hides. I'll go out when I want to, and I'll visit whom I choose. I'll go to bed at 2am, cos tomorrow I'll hit snooze. I'll dance and drink the nights away with friends I cherish the most. They'll pick me up, they'll dust me down. To friendship, we will toast. 
I'll sing to Dolly Parton, the loudest in my car. I'll never mind the rust and clanks. I'll travel near and far. I'll sit around in joggers and bring the duvet down. I'll eat whole tubs of ice cream with no one there to frown. I'll not take off my makeup or even brush my hair. I will not shave my legs all week. I really do not care. I'll do exactly as I please. For once in my short life, I'll do what I should at my young age. No anxiety, worry or strife. Bloody love that poem. I love that poem because I remember, I remember the person I was. I remember the trajectory that my life was on. I remember those feelings of what am I doing? Where am I going? Who am I with? What should I be? And the realisation that, yeah, things need to change. Um, incidentally, that was wrote probably about 18 months before I met um, my husband. Um, yeah, it's about... It's about those realisations, it's about coming to terms with that and just cracking on and, and changing course sometimes. And so there's two loves in my life uh, in that poem. Dolly Parton and ice cream. Boom! They've always been in my life longer than, than anybody else or anything else. You know, I anybody that knows me knows my love of Dolly Parton. Um, and... Uh, <laughs> I always keep a, an annual leave day just to one side and I carry it over every year because I swear when that woman, if anything happens to that woman, I'm going to need a day off work to, to just think about and to just have a moment. <laughs> and that's the truth. Um, it's all the truth. Um, but ice cream as well. Bloody love ice cream. Any type of ice cream, other than banana ice cream, I'm not eating banana ice cream. But you know, like, I mean, a tub of, I'll do a tub of Ben and Jerry's. You know, um, cart door, not cart door, um, Hagen, Hagen Dars, I'm probably saying that wrong. But do you remember that posh one? And I remember at Pizza Hut, they used to have like a meal deal where you could either have a bottle of pop or, I, or this tub of this Hagen Dars ice cream. I couldn't afford both. And um, the cardboard, they like come in tubs, one litre. It was not eating one litre. But, um, and it's like a right thick cardboard. You take a bread knife to that and you can slice straight through it. And dinner is served. <laughs> I love ice cream. Bloody, I properly love ice cream. And I love Dolly Parton. But I also love that poem and about just coming to terms with things and, and making a change. I hope you've enjoyed it. Thanks for listening.